In this video, we're going to look at applications of linear equations. First, we have the sum of two consecutive integers is 223. Find the numbers. We want to set up an equation based on this sentence here. So it says the sum, that implies addition, of two consecutive integers. So if we call the first consecutive integer x, then the next consecutive integer right after it is x plus 1. And I use parentheses just to add the emphasis that this is my first consecutive number, this is my second consecutive number, but otherwise they do not serve a purpose. So it says the sum, so here's my sum, is, is implies equals, and they add up to 223. We want to determine what these two numbers are. So again, these actually serve no purpose. I'm just going to ignore them because they don't do anything. We're going to combine like terms. x plus x is 2x. So we get 2x plus 1 is equal to 223 take away 1 from both sides, and we get 2x equals 222. To get x totally by itself, we will divide both sides by 2. So 2x divided by 2 will leave me with x, and 222 divided by 2 would be 111. So we know one of the numbers is 111, but it does say find the numbers, plural, which means there's more than one. So the first one is 111, What's the next consecutive number after that? Uh, next consecutive integer after that is 112. So x plus 1 is 112. If we want to check our work, we can just verify. If you add up 111 and 112, do we get 223? And the answer is yes, we do. So our, these would be our two solutions, 111 and 112. In the next example, one number is 3 less than another. Their sum is 21. Find the numbers. We have a little bit more going on here. We're going to break this up sentence by sentence. So we have one number is. Is implies equals. One number, do we know what that number is yet? Mm -mm, we don't. So we're going to use a variable to represent our unknown. Most commonly we use x. One number is. So one number equals three less than. Three less than implies that we're taking three away. So this is minus three. Another. Another we are to assume another number. Do we know what this number is? No, it would tell us if we did, and we don't. So we might say y. You cannot use the same variable here because that would be indicate that it's the same number, and we don't, I don't think it's going to be the same number. So you do need to switch the variable here to something besides whatever you chose for your first variable. Writing this as one thing, 3 less than another, that would be y minus 3. OK, so this is the first sentence. One number is 3 less than another. The second sentence says their sum, the sum of these two, num these two numbers, x plus y, is 21. And now we want to find the numbers. Now, this is deceiving because this was supposed to be a linear equation in one variable, and here I see that we have two variables. We're going to use something called substitution so that we have just one equation in one variable. And what we know, based on the information we're given, we know that x is the same as y minus 3. So anywhere I see an x, I can replace it with y minus 3, and that's the same thing because that's what it says right here. So right here, instead of x, I'm going to rewrite it as y minus 3. And just for emphasis, I'm going to put the parentheses there, but really they don't do anything to this problem. So now we have the first number plus the second number is 21. Now we have one variable, one equation, we're ready to solve. Here we're going to combine like terms, y plus y is 2y. That would be 2y minus 3 is equal to 21. Let's get y by itself. We'll add 3 to both sides. Then we get 2y is equal to 24. To get y by itself, we'll divide by 2. And we get y equals 12. We want to find both numbers, so we know one number, y, is 12. To figure out the value of x, we'll go back to that equation. Because we know that x is y minus 3, we will substitute in what we know y to be the same as, which is 12, 12 minus 3, and so we know that x is 9. And we can verify again, their sum is 21. 12 plus 9 is 21, so I feel pretty good that the solution is 9 and 12. This video is an application of solving linear equations. It asks us, the length of a rectangle is 5 times its width, the perimeter is 48 inches, find the dimensions. Anytime I see a geometry question that specifies a shape, I'm going to draw that shape immediately. It's a rectangle, so we could draw a rectangle to look like this. And we're going to fill in the, the pieces of information that we're told. We're told that the length of this rectangle is 5 times its width. So we have two unknowns here, the length and the width. 
Um, I'm going to call the width w because there's something, the, the, the length is given to us in terms of the width. So I'm going to call the width w, and we know that the length is five times the width. So whatever the width is, the length is five times that. I can represent that by saying 5w. Okay, so that's the first sentence. The second sentence, the perimeter is 48 inches. So perimeter, this means we need to know a formula. What's the formula for perimeter of a rectangle? If you don't know it, you can Google it, or I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, perimeter of a rectangle is twice the length plus twice the width. So we're going to fill in the pieces that we know here and see if, based on that, we can determine the dimensions of this rectangle. The perimeter is 48 inches. We were given that. So we're going to say 48 equals twice the width, uh, sorry, twice the length. So twice the length is 5w plus twice the width, which is just w, so that's going to stay the same. I think we can do this. We have one variable, one equation. Let's solve. 2 times 5w is 10w, so we have 48 is equal to 10w plus 2w. We can combine like terms. 10w plus 2w is 12w, so we have 48 equals 12w. To get w by itself, we will divide both sides by 12. And we end up with, let me come over here, 4 is equal to W. Okay, so we know 4 is W, therefore we know that the width is 4 inches and the length, remember the length, that was 5 times the width, so the length is uh, 5 times 4, which is 20 inches. And this would be the solution to this application.